Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. So Connor Ben wins a 12 round decision over Peter Dobson. Um, and the judges had it very, very wide. They gave Dobson, I think, one round, two rounds. I had it 116, 112 for Ben. Um, but the, early on, I mean, Ben, as usual, came out extremely fast, sharp, explosive. Every punch with, with knockout written all over it. And for the first two rounds, Dobson just looked all at sea. He looked way too slow. He wasn't throwing much. His jab was, if it, if it existed, it was very tentative, sort of pouring with it. Ben just looked too fast, too powerful, and frankly, too big for Dobson. And then at the end of the third round, Dobson did land one big, I say big. It, it was a sharp, it was an accurate punch anyway that landed flush. And he thought, okay, maybe he can build on that. Well, in the fourth, he did. He sort of came back. Um, he wasn't hurting Ben. At no point, weirdly enough, was either man hurt in this fight, despite Ben's explosiveness. And in some rounds, Dobson's, you know, very sharp counters. And make no mistake about it, Dobson is was, is a very crafty fighter. He's overcautious, which means against the best, he's going to lose because he just doesn't throw enough punches. But he's a right crafty sod, you know, he... he he was able to sort of draw Ben's sting for the first two rounds. And then he started to counter and he started to stand his ground a bit more. And certainly Ben looked, you know, so extremely flashy. I mean, God, you know, he just, it's all, it's all bang, bang, bang. You know, there's, there's no sort of variant of the punch. Ben has got a very, very good jab. He jabs really well. And when he used it, he was controlling Dobson, and I think Dobson thought, I'll drag this guy into deep water and drown him. Ben had, had never been t uh, 12 rounds before. This was a 12-round fight. I don't know why, because I don't think there was any kind of title on the line, even one of those silly trinkets that the Alphabet Soup boys give out. But uh, Dobson definitely um, began to sort of pick away at Ben. And in, in fairness, Ben kind of, you know, uh, he didn't allow himself to... Um, go into a shell he didn't allow himself to be contained even when he was getting hit flush and he was hit cleanly by Dobson um he was able to sort of go you know maintain his game plan um at times he went back to his jab when the the sort of the power wasn't working and I think Ben de who definitely has his father's explosiveness he's actually a sharper faster puncher than his father different weight obviously but what he doesn't have is his father's power. I mean, Ben just doesn't hit very hard because he was hitting Dobson flush with a lot of punches. And Dobson was catching Ben with a, with one or two pot shots cleanly as well. Um, like I say, neither man was really hurt. But Ben at the highest level, uh, considering his style, which is so offensive, so moveful, so cavalier, um, yeah, I think he might, the, the lack of power might might. It might hinder him a little bit, I think, against the, the, the very top guys. I mean, if you want to talk top welterweights, obviously you're talking Crawford, Boots, Ennis. Both of them would, would just toy with Ben. There's, there's just way, way too many gaps in Ben's Ben's um, offense, uh, in Ben's defense, I should say. But it, it kind of his defense very often is his offense, you know. But like I said, he, he can box a bit. He jabs very, very well. Um, I would like to see Ben kind of just vary his work a bit more. I mean, when he was firing the jab, he was jabbing to the body and then the head. You know, that was nice, nice, nice jabbing movement there. He's very quick with his feet, gets in close, tends to move in in straight lines and move out in straight lines. At one point, uh, Tony Sims in the corner said, you know, to start giving him some angles, meaning a bit of lateral movement. Ben, I think, needs to work on that because, if you know, the golden rule is you do not move out in a – straight line straight on in front of the you know I always remember Donald Curry getting chinned by Mike McCallum with a single left hook because he moved out in a straight line with his hands down and McCallum caught him and knocked him flat out um, that's just one of many examples you could use but Ben needs to watch that he needs to watch that and also when he moves in um, even though he's very very fast his feet are very fast he does tend to come in the front door instead of the side you know the side one um, but yeah, yeah, all right. I mean, I like watching Ben. I mean, despite all the PED stuff, I think he is a very, very entertaining fighter. And Dobson is a tough, durable, crafty guy who's got sort of gatekeeper written all over him. 
because he doesn't throw enough punches to to win big fights. He's just too cautious. Um, but he's a crafty so and so. He's a he's got some skills and he's got a good engine as well and a very good chin, which means he could have a he could he could be an interesting opponent for some top welterweights. But um, but yeah. Ben wins. What did you think? Did you watch it? If so, let me know your thoughts. Um, leave them below. I'll have a read. I'll answer as many as I can. And of course, thank you as always for uh, watching this video, for giving me your time. And please, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button as well. I'd appreciate that. All right. Not a bad fight. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think and bye for now.